Here's what to do and what not to do at the Pokemon Go Fest 2022 finale. Dude, it's going down this Saturday, August 27th, and it's gonna be so wild. But before we get into it, I have a special announcement. Check it out. It's almost time for the Pokemon Go Fest 2022 finale. So today we're gonna be talking about Prime Gaming. It's free with your Prime membership and offers free dope items for so many of your favorite games. In celebration of the Pokemon Go Fest 2022 finale, there's a new and exclusive drop available for Pokemon Go. This month's drop gets you 30 Pokeballs, five max revives, and a premium raid pass for free. It's actually super simple to claim the drop. Just head to the Prime Gaming site, sign into your Prime account, connect your Pokemon Go account, and you're good to go. Pretty clear that Prime Gaming has some pretty awesome benefits, but there's even more. It offers free games and in-game content like currency and items. It's awesome. So don't forget Pokemon Go Fest 2022 finale is going down this Saturday, August 27th from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. And I got something really exciting I want to announce. For the first time ever, I will be live streaming Pokemon Go Fest on Twitch. Yes, you heard that. That right i will be out and about adventuring with you guys live it's gonna be awesome so make sure you're following your boy on twitch and don't forget to claim your pokemon go prime gaming items before they're gone click the link in the description to sign up for prime gaming and claim all that good stuff let's get back to the adventure i cannot wait my first ever pokemon go fest live stream i'm a little nervous but i'm way more excited than nervous and i can't wait make sure you guys roll through for some live shiny action make sure you follow your boy on twitch at jt gilly really excited about that but we got some important things to talk about let's go the biggest tip that i feel like nobody's talking about if you're a ticket holder claim your short special research story they're gonna be dropping a short special research story on GoFest, and if you don't claim it apparently you lose access to the other special research stories that they give you ultra incursion Feramosa, buzzwool zirkatry and nialigo in these researches i would imagine you're gonna get an encounter of each one of those ultra beasts some other rare encounters maybe some good items some rare items Items, some balls xp the whole nine just get that out of the way as soon as you can okay know what to raid and what not to raid but this one is going to be fairly easy so here are the one star raids during the event uh pretty obvious pikachu is going to be a really rare shiny but other than that not really worth your time aksu is what you're going to want to raid it's going to be good it's a really rare shiny at least for another year or so it's also low-key one of the best shinies ever and then of course rock Ruff is uh, a good shiny but not worth raiding i don't think here are your three star raids honestly pretty horrible i mean i love me some salamence and then dreadagon and snorlax are shiny eligible but i would say probably don't raid any three star raids unless you really want a shiny version of one of those pokemon three star raids are pretty lackluster for a pokemon go fest so don't worry about them and in five star raids this is kind of important here each one of the ultra beasts are going to be appearing during their own time frame and then during the last two hours they're all going to be in raids pretty safe bet to skip out on Feramosa raids you probably don't need a raid at it's not that good. Buzzwool, if you have the time, if you have a chance, raid it. It is pretty good. It's nothing crazy, but definitely raid some Buzzwool. Zerkatry, you're gonna wanna raid Zerkatry. I compare it to the electric type version of Rayquaza. Really good attack. It can't really take a lot of hits, but it'll do some good damage. And then at the end, all of them are available in raids. Again, Buzzwool and Zerkatry are probably worth raiding. Nihiligo, I, I mean, I'm not gonna do them, but you know, if you find them useful, go for it. Oh, and also when you raid, if you you're a ticket holder remember you get nine free raid passes during the events and they expire when go fest is over so make sure you just use them why not the next tip know what to catch and what not to catch let's quickly go through the habitats and talk about what's worth catching in the Feramosa habitat you have everything shiny eligible which is dope this goes for the entire day but the, again the pikachu is going to be a really really rare shiny so if you want to get that shiny for trade value go for it other than that in this habitat there's just some pretty rare shinies like carablast and hitmon top but in terms of meta relevancy, uh, you got Scyther and Pinsir that have mega Pokemon and then Metatite's pretty good in PvP, nothing really else. In the Buzzswoll habitat, this is the best habitat. You're gonna want to grind the most out of the entire day within this two hour period. Almost everything is shiny eligible, but you have some incredibly rare shiny Pokemon. You have Aksu. Kranidos, Numel, and then some other great Chinese like Magmar, Hitmons, and the other guys. And then of course, meta relevancy is huge here. Machop is super useful. Geodude can be super useful. Drillbird can be super useful. Kranidos is super useful. Axu is a great time. This is the best habitat by far. Take advantage of this. It's gonna be going from 12 p.m. to 2 p.m. local time. This is huge. The Zergatry habitat is pretty good. A lot of rare shinies in here as well. So go for whatever you want. In terms of meta relevancy, 
see Electric's got a Mega. Electabuzz has a pretty good evolution. Shinx has a pretty good evolution. Uh, and then there's some other Pokemon that might be good for PvP. And finally, the last two hours of GoFest include a bunch of spawns with some rare shinies. Rare shinies including Burmy, Muna, which is brand new. Swirlix, which is also brand new that people don't remember that is now shiny. And then in terms of meta relevancy, pretty obvious. Bulbasaur has got a Mega Pokemon. Clefairy is good in PvP. Frillish is good in PvP. Just make sure you guys are prioritizing the right Pokemon, whether you're looking for shiny Pokemon or meta relevant Pokemon or candies. Just make sure you guys are on top of it. Speaking of a Pokemon we just brought up, and not a lot of people are talking about this, take your snapshots. I normally would never say take your snapshots because the encounters are apparently going to be Muna. That's a brand new shiny Pokemon, and it's a dope shiny Pokemon. I'm assuming it's going to be pretty rare. When the heck do you ever see a Muna in the wild? So do your snapshots. Don't forget, could get a really good rare shiny. And one last thing referring to spawns, pop your incense. Incenses are going to last two hours during the event. There's some really rare spawns attached to them and some really good shinies. All day, you're going to be getting unknown from the incense with the brand new unknown letters X and N. In the first habitat, you're going to get Galare, Mime, and Pansage. Pansage is a rare shiny regional. In the next habitat, you get Torkoal and Pansir, another rare shiny regional. In the next habitat, you get Panpour and Clink, both rare shinies, one of them with Panpour being a shiny regional. And during the final one, you get Tropius and Frillish. Now, Tropius is a rare regional to get. Frillish is good for PvP, but this is probably the, the worst one, I guess. Listen, I've been playing this game for about six years now. I've probably been a part of 10 Go Fests or so. These are some of the best tips I found over the years that I think you guys could really, really benefit from. Good luck to everybody out there, and hopefully I will catch you guys live on stream. Remember, on twitch.tv slash JTGilly, go check it out. I'm gonna be live for a few hours playing Pokemon Go, getting some shinies live with you guys. It's gonna be awesome.